Hi there Sagittarius, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button as well. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future, it's still going to be a love reading, okay Sagittarius? So let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Sagittarius please? The past energy for Sagittarius. The past energy for Sagittarius, please. The past energy for Sagittarius. And I'm going to be pulling out Oracle cards at the end, okay, of the reading. So the past energy for Sagittarius, please. One more. Sagittarius. Okay, so let's get the past energy for Sagittarius, please. The past energy, justice, okay. Oh boy, that's too many cards, let's try that again. The past energy for Sagittarius, please. The Queen of Swords, interesting. And the Four of Cups, okay. And the present energy for Sagittarius, the Page of Pentacles. The Emperor in reverse, though. The Eight of Swords in reverse, okay. The Future Energy for Sagittarius. The Queen of Cups in reverse, though. Wow, the Tower, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Lovers in reverse. Interesting. And the overall for Sagittarius? It's the Ten of Swords. Wow. I really feel like there is someone's in a lot of pain. Okay, could even be the both of you since it's a shared mutual. Or the overall, sorry. And uh, But hopefully it's nearing completion here with the Ten of Swords. So again, when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding. I really feel like you're standing in your power as a Queen of Swords here. Okay? Um, you're trying to be logical, practical... Uh, you're wanting the truth, you're wanting someone to balance things out, they're wanting them to make, you know, things right here, okay? This could even be you wanting honesty from someone, being truthful about how they feel here, because there could be disappointment with the Four of Cups. This could also be someone that's really um, looking at this connection with longing, but they're not really taking the cup that is offered to them here. So they could have options, but they're very focused on this connection here. So that's why it seems like there could be pain with the Ten of Swords. I feel like someone wants to make a tentative offer, though, with the Page of Pentacles. They could very well have been thrown off, though, with the Emperor in reverse. This couldn't be a shy energy wanting to make this tentative offer. But I feel like they're trying to get out of their headspace with the Eight of Swords in reverse. However, when I look at the future energy, it seems like someone's having trouble being emotionally expressive. Or emotionally vulnerable. This could even be you closed off emotionally somehow. But I feel like someone's been triggered or somehow there's um, major changes within this dynamic somehow. Um, this could be someone hit with a tower moment of realization and that's why I see a slow energy heading towards you. With the knight of pentacles. Okay, someone trying to think things through. They're trying to be methodical here. Maybe they do want changes within this dynamic. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. I feel like this person may want changes within this dynamic, but when we clarify, we'll get further insight. So let's clarify the Ten of Swords for the overall, for Sagittarius, please. The Ten of Swords. For Sagittarius, please. The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords. For Sagittarius. Okay, one more. All right. The Ten of Swords for Sagittarius, please. 
the four of wands in reverse okay so i really feel like the both of you are not together in the 3d okay so this is also talking about a disconnect so i don't really see stability here or commitment but you could very well be dealing with a spiritual connection so the five of cups are showing up in reverse here so this could be someone that's getting out of a negative space so hopefully this pain that's between the both of you is nearing completion here with the ten of swords or it's coming to an end okay so let's clarify justice there you go the tower in reverse the moon so someone's keeping their feelings hidden under the moon here someone may want to pick up the pieces and rebuild maybe they do want to make things right here with justice they're wanting to balance things up but they're keeping that hidden from you with them under the moon um and there you go the seven of cups well wow, this is like heavy duty um so maybe this is you like wanting there not to be any sort of illusions okay with the moon card and the seven of cups so you want clarity here but if this is someone that's a disappointment they're acknowledging the connection they're just keeping their feelings hidden from you they're contemplating the connection though they're feeling emotional but they're not ex they're not expressing it okay so let's clarify that there you go the magician in reverse so you don't want there to be any manipulation you want there to be clarity it seems um there you go the lovers in reverse twice so there's it's clearly talking about a disconnect And there you go, the hangman. So I really feel like you're this, in this hangman posi position trying to gain clarity here, trying to gain some sort of enlightenment, looking at things from various perspectives. So I don't really see you taking any action here. But someone's really contemplating communication here with the Eight of Wands. This could be you wanting this person to communicate as well. Well, the hermit is showing up in reverse. So I really feel like something needs to be healed in this dynamic or someone's having to gain some sort of awareness. Um, and there you go, the king of wands. So you could be dealing with another fire sign here. This is someone that has a lot of passion towards you. So I do see Gemini. You can be dealing with an air sign, Scorpio. Pisces, Libra, Aries, again Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus. So let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands in reverse. The Two of Cups in reverse. So I really feel like someone's wanting to make a tentative offer here. Um, look at that. It's the Empress in the upright though and the Emperor in reverse. So someone's been clearly thrown off here. So you're showing up as being very loving, nurturing, beautiful, right? But um, this person wants to make a tentative offer. But there's some sort of heaviness that comes with this connection, especially if someone is viewing you as an empress here. So let's clarify the emperor in reverse. There you go, justice in reverse. This person's been thrown off balance. Um... But the high priestess so i really feel like this person they could very well be listening to their intuition when it comes to you okay this could even be a very intuitive connection you can be a very intuitive as well so let's clarify the eight of swords in reverse so this person can't really s suppress their desires here look at the hat if that's not supposed to be a the Eight of Swords in reverse twice. So maybe this person's really getting out of their headspace. So maybe there could have been fear based thoughts and it threw this person off balance, but I feel like they're trying to get out of that. However, I don't see a reconciliation here with the Three of Cups in reverse. I don't know if they're quite successful here. So this person could be appearing as if they're emotionally distant or detached. So I see three eights here. So this could even be you walking away though and embarking on this brand new opportunity here okay especially if there is dissatisfaction so let's clarify the queen of cups in reverse though there you go the queen of swords in reverse 
So I really feel like um, someone's not really being emotionally direct here. So there could be an end to a cycle or an actual ending. Since it did, the overall is a Ten of Swords. The Three of Pentacles though, and the Nine of Wands in reverse. But I do feel like someone wants to work things out. They want to take down any sort of barriers, okay? Um, so someone's been hit with a tower moment of realization. But it's like they have to make this important choice here. Wait a second, the Three of Wands. So you, it's interesting, there could be a delay here, or this, there could be waiting. But I, I really feel like you might even just walk away and embark on this brand new opportunity. Especially if there is a long delay here. So this could very well be talking about an end to a cycle here. The Nine of Cups. So you could very well be self-focused. So this person has to really take this leap of faith or make this choice to take this leap of faith and become emotionally expressive here. So I see you being self-focused. Well, let's clarify. There you go, the star. Oh boy, so I feel like someone is wanting to heal things in this dynamic. They're wanting to balance things out though. But they have to express how they feel here with the Ace of Wands in reverse. So if there's pr this person has a lot of passion towards you, they're keeping that hidden. They're not really expressing it here with the Ace of Wands in reverse. And there you go, the Knight of Wands in reverse. So I really feel like uh, there go there's going to be an ending. And you might even end up walking away here and embarking on this brand new opportunity. So let's get one more card though. Page of Swords. So this person really has to communicate here. Ha they have to bring clarity. I really feel like this person wants to express how they feel here. They could be waiting. There could be some sort of delay here. But it's like... You might just, in fact, pull your energy back. Okay? So let's get further insight from the Intimate Tarot for Sagittarius, please. I feel like you don't want there to be any illusions. You want clarity. Okay. So let's get further insight from the Intimate Tarot for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. So what's going on in this? There you go. The, wow, there's a lot of eights here. So there's heavy contemplation. Someone's really thinking about you here, okay? But there could very well be conflict with the Five of Swords. Even self-sabotage. Maybe even games. Like you're not wanting there to be any games. Death. So there could very well be an ending. Okay. With death. I feel like you want an end to games or any kind of conflict. You're showing up as a Queen of Pentacles. So you're very loving, very nurturing. You could be very self-focused. Okay. Taking great care of yourself. Focusing on your independence here. The Six of Wands. You're wanting there to be forward momentum. So someone could even be contemplating. A reconciliation here. The Knight of Swords talks about like someone having to take action though. But there you go, the Devil. So there could be a negative cycle here. I do feel like there is physical attraction, desire, temptation. But again, yet there could be like fear-based thoughts here as well with the devil. Some sort of negative cycle here. Let me get one more card. For Sagittarius, please. Let me see here, the hair font. So you could very well be dealing with a spiritual connection here. So maybe there could be worry that there's another person involved as well. So just take it as is. It's not for all of you. I really feel like you don't want to be an option, especially with the Seven of Cups and the Hierophant. The Hierophant um, 
is right in, next to the seven of cups here so this is you wanting the truth you're wanting clarity you don't want any sort of illusions right interesting so let's get further insight well not insight let's get <laughs> it's late sorry so let's get um, a card from the oracle deck that's too many of them let's get the message on, on that was like have patience <laughs> so let's get a card from this oracle deck for Sagittarius please Sagittarius what's this say you are limitless you can do anything you choose so that's a positive message here right there's potential infinite potential so eight showed up repeatedly throughout this reading new love embrace an opportunity for love in either your work prospects or for spiritual growth so there could even be a brand new opportunity here right so possibly in regards to your career you are limitless you can do anything you choose but you can even you know be experiencing new love here which will kind of enhance your spiritual growth so that's interesting so that's my reading for you Sagittarius and I'll see you next time take